stones, as you see, are come in different shapes and sizes, mostly sizes. Uh, they will typically have a flat part to them, and you can use them either flat, as he is doing so right now, or you can swivel them around to be able to get more uh, grip into the person's uh, body and into the person's muscles. So what are the benefits of this uh, beautiful massage? Well, first of all, the hot stone massage is made for relaxation, both of the person and of the muscles. The warmth of the um, stones will enable uh, the muscles to be relaxed more, to be more bland, and will also, of course, uh, procure some wellness to the person who will feel more relaxed. The hot stones also are favorable for improved blood circulation. So it's always a, a good thing to use heat uh, for that. The hot stone massage will also contribute to stress relief. Now that, like many other types of massages, of course, and because it is so good for the uh, muscles to be heated up, um, some uh, people who have them regularly will feel improved flexibility, will be less stiff. So again, that is something which you will find in other types of massages, but uh, the, the heat of the stones will contribute to making uh, that even more um, prominent. The stones uh, retain the heat quite well because they're made of basalt and you can have different types of materials but basalt is what you will find most commonly. And finally by putting the stones down along the person's back, you can rebalance the person's energies. Now, what does that mean? It may sound esoteric, but this means that after you will feel more centered, maybe more grounded. So the receiver will feel less all over the place, in a sense. So as you see in this demonstration, Khaled is using hot stones in conjunction with a Swedish massage or a type of Swedish massage if you will he has his own unique style of course but this is a massage where he will uh, attempt to um, both relax the person and get some muscle relaxation the client after this uh, massage will feel much less tense will feel much more relaxed not only inside because the person had a wellness moment but also the muscles will be uh, physically uh, less tense and more loose. You can see here that some pressure is being but not so much that the client would be, uh, that there would be a risk of the client being in pain.
this massage, as you see, is done with oil and the stones and the regular use of hands with the stone as an extension. As you can imagine here, the client will have really both a very pleasant feeling as well as a relaxing feeling. We are in a public setting and both draping and uh, the client's intimacy is uh, of high importance and as any trained professional Khaled you see uh, does very good use of these uh, best practices. And as we were mentioning earlier, here the stones are simply being set down on the client. and they will have a relaxing effect. And also, by pinpointing the side of the back of the buttocks along the um, spine, this will relax the client and make her feel less tense. Please do note the proper body positioning of Khaled's posture. Uh, very important for his own back, for his own well-being. Any massage therapist who wants to be able to massage for a long period of time must find his or her positioning to enable preserving the back. Again, these are moments of deep relaxation for the client. And as we do these videos, we realize a lot of people watching the video feel very relaxed as well. intimacy is preserved, especially in a public setting. And we're about to discover why there are so many different little sizes of stones. And 
happiness. You can put them between the toes and it is the most pleasant sensation. placed the stones in the heater to make sure he's using warm stones at all times. So this being a public demonstration, a lot of the movements that you've seen would typically be a little bit longer. This is a maybe shortened version of what the full massage would be. As you see, the, the movements which Khaled has applied are mostly rather firm, yet they're gentle. So when he removes a stone, you see that he does it in a rather delicate way, so that the receiver does not uh, perceive any uh, abrupt movement. So the movements are very, of course, very important in, in massage, and you want to know how to give a firm massage yet stay very gentle with the client. Here a little bit of body work, very light uh, stretching to wind down the massage.
there's nothing wrong with a bit of a head uh, massage to end up. It's always very pleasant. Pulling the skins, pulling the hair a little. It's always a very pleasant uh, feeling and very relaxing. And again, a bit of stretching. This movement is very good for the whole spine. And well, we hope you've enjoyed this video and that you learned a little bit about hot stone massage. And see you soon for the next video. Until then, be well.